Hi students, uh, you are watching Applied Thermodynamics lecture series with me. So in last videos, we have seen the various kind of uh, Euro and uh, Bharat state norms for the emissions. Then we have seen the emission control device like catalytic converter. We have seen in the last video. Also we have seen EGR exhaust gas removal, uh, exhaust gas recirculations. Then we have seen evaporative emission control system. So in last two videos, we have seen the control of emissions but right now in today's video we can see, see different kind of uh, pollutants that is coming out from the engine okay and also we gonna see the emission measurement devices like uh, of uh, we have smoke meter and also apart from smoke meter we are also going to see a five gas analyzer okay so let us start this video so now we gonna see first we gonna start with the source of engine emission and it is also known that sometime in the exams they can also ask something like this uh, write down or enlist major pollutant in SI and CR engine so what we gonna do in this theory this is known as source of engine emission or major pollutants in SI and CR engine so in this video we are going to see the different list of different pollutants that is coming out from the engine emissions so first we gonna start with CO CO means what carbon monoxide Okay, so we know in the last two videos there are three main uh, uh, polluted uh, or you can say there are three main substances which is harmful to environment which is CO means carbon monoxide, HC hydrocarbon and NOx means nitrogen oxide so you can say oxides of nitrogen. So first we are going to start our first pollutant is CO, CO means carbon monoxide but why this is happening, why carbon monoxide is coming out from the emission uh, from the engine because this is just because due to incomplete combustion of fuel due to incomplete combustion of the fuel you will have a CO for, as an engine emission okay then you have a second HC which is hydrocarbon so same hydrocarbon is also there why because due to incomplete combustion of the fuel okay then the NOx which is nitrogen oxides so we know that the formation of nitrogen oxides happen at a higher temperature so when this happens, so formation of nitrogen oxide due to nitrogen and oxygen combined at higher temperature. So we know that in engine due to the combustions we have higher temperature and higher temperature due to the presence of nitrogen and oxygen in the ceiling they both combine and make nitrogen oxides. So that is due to the high temperature. The fourth is SO2, H2S and lead. Why this is happening? This is just because due to the sulfur present in the petroleum product. So due to the sulfur present in the fuel, you are having SO2, H2S and lead. So this is the undesirable substance. And then we have PM. PM means you know that it is particulate matter. Particulate matter means you have acids, you have carbon particles. So these are considered as a PM. So that is undesirable substance. So you can say particulate matter. So why this is happening? That is happening due to incomplete combustion of the fuel. So we have the pollutants over here. and we have a reason why this pollutant is coming out. Next, we're gonna see soot. See, soot is also a desirable substance that is due to the lack of oxygen during the combustion process. Okay, so that is the uh, reason behind the soot. Then we have smoke. Why we have smoke? That is due to lubricating oil burn during the combustions. Then we have aldehydes. So aldehyde is also a desirable substance and that is happened due to cold flames. Okay, so these are the substance and the reason behind it. Again, we're gonna repeat first we have carbon monoxide. So remember something like this: carbon monoxide, HC means hydrocarbon, and PM, particulate matter. So these three things due to incomplete combustion of fuel. Then you have a nitrogen oxides, that is due to the high temperature. Then you have SO2H, H2S, and lead. So you know that sulfur dioxide, H2S, so that is sulfur. So from that you can ask yes, that is just because of the sulfur present in the petroleum. So this is how you're going to remember. Okay. So you have to remember all the substance and the reason why they are uh, they, why they are uh, coming out from the engine. So reason you have to also write the reason. That is also very important. Then you have a soot that is due to lack of oxygen. Smoke due to the lubricating or lubricating oil burned in combustions and aldehydes due to the cold flame. So these are the major pollutants. So sometimes in the examination they can ask write down the source of engine emission or they can ask write down the list of major pollutants and reason behind that in SI and CI engine. So this is very important uh, questions uh, regarding uh, as far as due to examination is concerned. Now let's 
device that we gonna see over here that is called smoke meter. So now what is this? The smoke meter is an emission measurement device. So through smoke meter we can measure measure the emissions. Okay, so here you can see that the smoke meter also referred as opacity meter. So it can be uh, known as smoke meter or sometime in exam they will ask opacity meter. So you don't have to worry when he says opacity meter means he is talking about the smoke meter. What it does? It detect and measure the amount of light blocked in smoke, smoke emitted by diesel engine. So to understand this light, again I am going to repeat, smoke meter is also referred as opacity meter. It detects and measure the amount of light blocked in smoke emitted by diesel engine. So to understand this light, we will go with the working principles. So let's see the working principles. So first you can see one figure over here. So this is the, this figure is shows the working principle of smoke meter. So on the, you can say that there is a uh, rolled paper written over in the figure. So there is a rolled paper over there. You can see in the figure there is a rolled paper. Now this rolled paper is moving ahead. So you can see that paper feed written over there and the direction of the arrow is showing over there at paper feed. So in that direction, the paper is moving ahead. So first see in the figure rolled filter. See the rolled filter in the figure. Okay. Then see the paper feed paper field and see the arrow. So in that direction, this rolled paper is moving ahead. Now you can see that there is an exhaust gas in and exhaust gas out. So what will happen? The exhaust gas in and you have a rolled paper, something like this and it is moving ahead. So exhaust gas striking on the paper. So it will blacken the paper. Okay. So paper will be black just because the smoke is going to be absorbed by this paper. So you will have a black paper. So you can see that that moving ahead. Now it goes onto the you can see that there is a light source written over the reflected beam. So that is actually a reflectometer. That is a device. That is the device which is known as reflectometer. So you can see that once again, I'm going to repeat, you have a rolled paper. Now you can see the paper feed written over there. So the rolled paper is moving in that direction. You can see the arrow at the paper feed. So in that direction, the rolled filter is moving ahead. Now you will have an exhaust gas in something like this. So it will strike on the paper. So your paper will become a black okay and now this paper will go ahead and you will have a you can see that on figure your light source reflected in so that is the reflectometer device so the light is going to be strike on this paper which is going to which is black right now just because the uh, black uh, smoke is absorbed by the white paper so now this paper which is black now the reflectometer from the reflectometer light is going to be strike on that and by this we are going to measure the emissions so you can see that on the right side you have written right light source, reflected beam, okay, incident beam, reference detector. So what it so it is a reflectometer and it will measure the smoke present in the engine. So this is the working principle. So now we again go back and now you can understand what is trying to say. The smoke meter. Now what will happen? After reflectometer, the smoke meter read out the display. Okay. So what display so it shows the smoke density. So smoke meter read out the display, the smoke density giving the measure of the efficiency of the combustions. Okay. So what will happen after a measuring or after the display reading, what you can decide? So this makes the smoke meter an excellent diagnostic tool to ensure proper maintenance of diesel engine for improved fuel economy and protection of the environment. So this is the very important. So what smoke meter will do? It will measure the smoke density. Okay. So from that you will get to know that what are the whether the uh, the engine uh, whether the emission is emitted by engine or not. So that to measure that you require a smoke meter. Okay, and if you have a more em if you have a uh, more emissions than recommended, then you have some fault and you can go to the engine and you repair the things, or you can find out the fault over there. So that is the function of smoke meter. Okay. So that is why it is known as diagnostic tool. Okay, to for what? For improved fuel economy and protection of the environment. Okay, because we don't want to the harmful substances to go to the environment. So this is the smoke meter which measures the smoke density. Okay, so that is the uh, working principle. So we have seen this figure. Now we gonna see another uh, another device which is known as five gas analyzer. Why it is known as five gas analyzer? Because it analyzes the five gases. Which one? First, you have carbon monoxide, then carbon dioxide. Okay, so we know that the five separate. So what with carbon monoxide, you can see that the five gas analyzer device 
that detects and analyzes five separate components of an automatic of an automotive exhaust. So first, it will analyze carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, oxygen, hydrocarbon, and oxides of nitrogen. That means nitrogen oxide. So we know that the three we know that this this three thing is very harmful. First is hydrocarbon. Then carbon monoxide CO, the nitrogen oxide, or you can say oxide of nitrogen, NOx. So at C, CO and NOx. So these are the three major harmful things. So it will measure these three things. Uh, at C, uh, CO, at C means hydrocarbon, CO means carbon monoxide, NOx means nitrogen oxide. So you can say oxides of nitrogen. And apart from these three gas, other two gas will be what? Other two gas will be here. You can see that carbon monoxide. Then you have other two gases, carbon dioxide and oxygen. So apart from HCCO and NOx, it will measure carbon dioxide and O2. Okay. So we know that uh, again. Now you can see that the three of these, three of these means what? CO means carbon monoxide, HC means hydrocarbon, and nitrogen oxides. These are the pollutants. And other two are they are not harmful substances. They are the harmless substances. Which one? CO2 and O2. So carbon dioxide and oxygen. They are the harmless. Are non-regulated. Their measurement can provide. A mechanic with additional information for diagnosis of engine problem. So that's why we have taken uh, oxygen as well as we have taken CO2. That is the reason why we have taken apart from these three. Why we have taken CO2 and O2? To just because that it can provide a mechanic additional information for diagnosis of engine problem. Also, now you can see that they are also useful in detecting and tracking down a fuel exhaust, emission control, and engine service problems. Now what you have, you can see the one figure over here. There, that is the instrument five gas analyzer. So what it shows, it shows the reading. Okay, so here you can see that the high or low reading of any of the five gas component can point a variety fault in the vehicle. So what you have, you have a screen. On that screen, you have a reading of these five gases. And if the uh, the gases content are more than required or low than the required, then you can see that there is some fault in the engine. And you can find out that fault. So that is the main thing. So in short, five gas analyzer will analyze the five gases: HC, CO, NOx. Then you have CO2, and which one? Apart from CO2, then you have O2. So these are the five gases in which three are harmful: HC, CO, and NOx, and other two is harmless, which is CO2 and O2. But we take all these five just because to make sure to find out the any problem present in the engine. So this is the function of five gas analyzer, sir. So what we have seen in this video, we have seen the major pollutants in SI and CI engine. Also, we have seen the emission measurement device like smoke meter and five gas analyzer. So I hope you will like this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.